Welcome to this Haiku screencast. And I thought in this screencast we will play a little game, one of my favorite games under the Haiku operating system called Whitelands. It's a Settler 2 clone and it's pretty much one of the best open source games I really like and I'm really playing a lot. So first of all I show you how to install this. We go to our web browser and search go to hikeaway.com search for wildlands and here you can see wildlands and you see some notice on how to install it and you can download this uh, application of this game as well and you need to extract it to the boot folder and you need some libraries like the SDL GCC4 game libraries that you can download from here and of course the boost 1.42 library as well and be warned it's only running with Hack GCC4 or the GCC4 hybrid so the alpha 2 that is a um, GCC2 hybrid won't work as well as uh, a GCC2 only version so you need Hack GCC4 or the GCC4 hybrid so after downloading you simply need to extract those uh, files I already downloaded them to my desktop first of all the SDL gaming library it needs to be extracted to the slash boot folder and the boost file system library also to the boot folder and in the end you can then install the Wildlands zip that also needs to be extracted to the boot folder. So after the extraction is done, it takes a little bit of time depending on your hardware, we can start up the game. So now after the installation let's start Wildlands. You might see that the link normally is broken on your desktop. This is because it's linked uh, wrongly. If you want to start it just go to your file system apps Wildlands and then click on Wildlands and it will start up. As you can hear in the background, the music is really, really fantastic. It's a really, really good music for a game that looks professional like this one. So the first thing that we'll need to do or that I will show you is the single player tutorial so that you can get a feeling of what this game looks like. So we'll go to the single player menu campaign and we'll start up the second empire barbarian tutorial one that will give you a short impression of the game so this game has a really nice soundtrack has really good 2d graphics i think it's really one of the best settler 2 clones i ever saw and it really makes fun to play this game of course also for those ones who know or who played the settlers 2 which they will automatically be fine within the game and we'll we will see how the game will look like the first tutorial will explain us the basic steps the, those tutorials tutorial is only for those ones who never played Settlers 2 for example or who played it years ago and don't know how to play it anymore um, give you it gives you a short impression of the game and how you have to build your economy around uh, your city, your small city and that I place basically in a, in a mid-age uh, time and now we end the game and as you can see there's also a story that is told within the tutorial that creates a little bit atmosphere of course and uh, shows you the story behind the barbarians in this case so this is really interesting 
and now this is the important part this old man shows you or gives you some hints what you need to do what you need to build and it's basically the tutorial advisor and as you can see here long very long text but at the end there are some new objectives and he tells you uh, he tells you how you can build new stuff and what do you need to build now so basically the uh, basic commands on how to use this um, game is uh, pressing with the left keyboard you have some symbols on the bottom that allow you to view for example the build help and the build help shows you where you can build houses or where you can build uh, simple streets simple streets are um, symbolized by the flags by the yellow flags there you can um, build streets as you can see here we have a, a blue flag in front of our uh, house here our main building and yeah let's start with building a lumberjack house here and now we need to connect this way to our house so that we can now start building with our lumberjack hut as you can see the carriers are going from the one flag to another one flag but in the middle of the way you see there's a yellow flag so you can build up a flag in here on the road so the carriers will then divide the work and the work goes a little bit quicker as you can see there's one carrier only carrying it to the one flag and the other one is only going from the construction to the flag in the middle so let me explain some of the other elements as you can see on the right you can see new messages these are important messages from your um, geologist or objectives if you forgot them you can simply go here and get them again you have some help on where like for example beer what do you need to build to brew beer of course you need a microbrewery uh, wheat and water I have a mini map of course and you have statistics that show you the different statistics of your houses of your people and some other worse statistics of course so I think on our lumberjack hat is already finished now our elder tells us what to build next um, we need to build up a second lumberjack hut in here and we connect it of course with our road and of course we can also and this is really nice feature make the game a little bit speed it up a little bit make it a little bit faster by pressing the page up key as you can see on the top right how fast we are now going I think I think six six times faster is good enough uh, story is storytelling is very nice and yeah this is basically the whole game as you can see here and it tells you how to build up a society how to make it fit for winter and uh, there are some new objectives of course if you have a lumberjack hut you need a ranger hut to build up again trees and of course besides wood you also need um, stones and therefore you need to build two quarries in the south west of your headquarters and yeah this is what i will basically do now first of all i will build the ranger set here connected of course with the way points so it can be built and here in the east by the way with the right mouse button you can scroll through your map and the uh, uh, west we can see the uh, stones here so we need to create some quarries here so that they 
will then build or will then use those stones there to build stones that are necessary for building bigger and better houses. I will speed up this one here. Ah, of course, storytelling. This is a really nice game, I think. So everyone loved Settlers 2 will have fun and will enjoy playing this game called Wildlands. And I think the background music is really cool. The animations are very good and sound effects also. So this is basically my short little preview or review of Wildlands. There's still more to come. You can create big, big cities with military of course you have three or four different races here and four or three different uh, cultures really in the building in creating the ways uh, for example if you're taking the empire they will create like the roman empire uh, straight ways uh, not so much rounded ways so we have straight house and it will look a lot different than this one here i hope you enjoyed this little preview of Wildlands on Haikyuu and have a lot of fun and thanks for watching.